For years and years, you see, South Africa has been struggling with load shedding. They had a serious, serious challenges when it comes to power generation. But of late, this problem seems to have been resolved. Uh, there hasn't been a lot of power outages in a very, very long time, or if there was any, it should have been limited. And the question is, how did they do it? The question, how was this problem resolved so that other African countries such as mine, Zimbabwe, can also learn from this? And the answer is right. Uh, this entire board was appointed in 2022. Sure. And I was part of a group of people, all of them new, new people, and mm. were appointed all at the same time. Uh, the mm. one thing that I would like to highlight about this point is that uh, none of these people ever had raised their hands and said, I'm applying to be a board member in ESCOM. Hmm. None of us. And, and in fact, all of us were approached. And, yes. and hmm. the questions that were asked of us, there was no question like, which political party do you belong to? No, hmm. it was none of that. And the, the people were chosen largely because of the work that they have done, their expertise. And, and I must say that I'm really, really honored to be working with such group of people mm. that uh, and if you're looking from whichever angle, uh, looking at corporate finance, we've got those people there. Looking at culture change, you know, because most of the problems of ESCOM revolve around people. You mm. have people that are strong in that. Mm. Uh, look at other issues linked to the engineering, technical. We've got uh, many engineers. We've got lawyers. There. Mm. So, so that's the group of people that was assembled, and 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 the country was in a crisis at that time. Yep. And uh, you see, f at at a certain point, I would imagine that Siri or Maposa understood that you know what, I cannot keep on appointing uh, my comrades and my friends to go out there and leave this organization. We actually need technical people, the people with knowledge, people with skills, people with experience, people with a background, with a track record of performing and turning things around in different other organizations. And this has to be a very important lesson for countries such as Zimbabwe and any other African countries because Zimbabwe suffers from the same disease.